it's absolutely um, just unimaginable that they're going to require students at this point to come into the buildings to test in person during the middle of a global pandemic. Um, you know, we, we understand that kids need assessments. They need to, you know, we're not totally against testing. We understand that they, you know, that there needs to be some type of accountability for the classwork, but this is just an unexpected, un, untenable situation. And we can't, you know, parents and students don't want to come back into the buildings because it's not safe. And it's, you know, the, the students are having to choose between that and potentially failing a course. And that's just not fair. What do you think, Susan? Um, there's nothing standard about a pandemic. And so standardized testing during this time seems just out of touch with reality. Um, and in person, most of our, uh, many, not most, but many of our parents and students chose a virtual option, knowing that they would be safe at home. And to be told now that they have to go in for a data point seems ridiculous. What does it mean for your families, for your kids to have to go back and do this? How does it put you at risk? My children are not, I, I have children in elementary school. And so this, you know, I'm not fighting this fight for my own children at this point. I'm fighting for all of the students across North Carolina. Well, according um, to the, the state, the beginning of grade three reading test has to happen in person too. True. And that would be my child. I have a third grader and, and um, we'll be refusing that in for third grade. We will, we will not be re-entering the buildings to do, to do the state testing. So why is that so important to you? because um, we don't feel like it's safe. You know, we chose virtual for, for our, my children. I have a third grader and a kindergartner and, you know, we've chosen virtual. It was not our, not our favorite option. We, we would rather than be in normal classes with their friends, but it's not safe. You know, we are, we're not doing Thanksgiving with our family this year because it's not safe. We're not sending our children into the building because it's not safe. And I don't want to risk their health and the potential long-term side effects of this disease um, in addition to the potential for death, um, you know, we don't want to risk those things um, for my children. So, you know, they, they won't be taking this, but the older children, the high schoolers don't have that choice because their grades are dependent on it and it's not fair. So Susan, what would you tell the people in charge about why they should change their mind on this? Well, first of all, I would tell them that time is of the essence. We can't wait because we have early college and modified calendars coming up in December. So it's not something you can twiddle your thumbs about. It's something that you have to do right now. Um, the other thing is that most importantly, no one should have to suffer a bad grade because of a pandemic. And first and foremost, we need to get that 20% and that in-person part taken care of. The other things we can talk about later, but those things are of right now and they need to be addressed. 